Hey everybody, this is Steven RS again with another short spotlight of one of my new additions to the Grey Goo mod. So here we go. Um, like all of them, it starts with just, you know, two dirt blocks and turn it to the green goo. And then this one, first you have to craft. Not white goo? Yeah, Grey Goo. The namesake that no one ever appreciates, but I like Grey Goo. It's called a tumor. And uh, find a good place to set it. Whoa, that was fast. Quick tick there. And uh, it does a few different things. So it doesn't red doesn't stop it. It grows a little bit slower than most other blocks. Kind of clears this like hollow space underneath it, which can actually be kind of fun because you can get underneath it and do whatnot. But it uh, does particularly special things once it's been growing for a while. And uh, because you don't have to sit here and watch me stare at a, a lump of goo for a while, I will cut. Okay, we'll cut back in as it's uh, gotten larger. Actually, this is a completely different map with a completely different blob. I, I just wanted to be able to fly. So, but uh, you can tell now it's uh, starting to change into the darkness. And it's getting bigger, but it oh, yeah, it grows kind of slowly anyway. But uh, got the cool particle effect going on here. So uh, huh, I wounded the tumor, blew a chunk of it out. But we got some of these guys now. So while that's uh, cooking, I'll go over here and show you what this one does. Now this one, this one's honestly kind of scary. So I'm gonna go a long way away, so I don't have to worry about it. Now, before this update, this was called black goo. It's still black. It's still the same stuff. It's just scary. And it doesn't do much for very long, and then, then all of a sudden it just starts going nuts. You break anything around it, it grows. If you break it, it grows. If you walk on it, it grows. It's really scary, though is that um, we'll want it turns into that stuff, but we'll see that later. Is that it grows faster than red. So red beats it, just not quite quickly enough. So um, yeah, enough of that. Running, leaving out. Yeah, and about this distance away from any of my goos, they actually stop updating. I can pause it, and I'll even render. See, it just saw the render pass, and they don't they don't do anything. So you can run away from them generally. So now you've seen what the darkness does, and uh, one actually purpose of it spawning only six blocks away from any other block and so it doesn't get out because that that's not good that's why water is dangerous water can flow over them sometimes and give it an escape route but um, I'll let this grow for a little bit longer and then I will come back to you shortly okay here we go uh, well it's been a little bit longer and now it is quite a bit larger and it started to generate plague in the center. That's what it looks like after a while. Not particularly fun. Or fun. Everyone look at it. But um, this, these center blocks, the ones with red in them, are uh, particularly scary. Actually, be kind of hard to get a hold of. Curse you, creative mode. I can't break my dang blocks. Plague block is interesting. It updates in a completely different way than all my other blocks. And um, spreads extremely quickly. So I'll show you with a, my uh, patent pending containment mechanism. Stop it from getting everywhere. A tree. Well, has to be. Whoop. And the tree is gone. 
So you can imagine if that was attached to the world. It happens quickly. Only spreads though when it's within a certain distance of the player, and it won't spread down. So like I can set it here, and it'll eat everything like that, but it won't continue to eat the world. So it actually makes it less dangerous than most. But at the same time, it does that very quickly. And if you set it like way down there, what well, I mean, yeah, you could see what would happen. The line. So here is like a, a fully established tumor with all four stages. You have the uh, the original tumor layer, which kind of serves to insulate the inner nastier layers, which are darkness. and plague, and finally this uh, nice little red block called uh, the Great Destroyer. And it's unique, and took forever to make, and I'm proud of it. But uh, it's unique, it grows up quickly from where it spawns, and more or less just up, it won't grow up to the sides very much. If it's, you know, a block is spawned over here, it'll kind of merge as it's going up, but it'll grow up and up, and up, and up, and up, till it gets to about here. And then it stops going up, and starts going out very quickly. And literally blots the sky out. So, um, we'll see what that looks like in a few minutes. Okay, here we are again. And this is what it's become. And honestly, not very long. This took about, I don't know, 15 minutes? So, um, this is when you just, you know, you leave now. There's really nothing you can do. You, you run. But, um, just a little glance at our tower. And the scary thing is about this, it is just about to reach where it, where it wants to be. Ooh, I think it may have, actually. Okay, and now it has started to bloom up at the top. You can see it just kind of uh, starting to spread a little bit. And it sits there for a second before that starts to happen, but once it starts happening, it happens quickly. The very top of it is starting to spread out now. You can tell that the, you know, the actual pillar hasn't really changed much, and it hasn't been very long since it happened, maybe, I don't know, five minutes. But, um, Yep, starting to grow out, so what I'm actually going to do, you know, find a little nice spot to chill. I'm going to let this grow, and then I'm going to come back. And now my uh, Minecraft client, client is having some issues running both, but, oh gosh. That's what we have now. So yep, the sky has turned red. Uh, the ground is being eaten. And Minecraft is lagging, so I would say it's time to leave. I've been running for a while out over open ocean now, and I'm probably about time to see. Oh, oh, well, here we go. This is what happens if you just keep running. You start seeing them in the sky. Wow, that one's been growing for a while. So, uh, can't run away from it. Because after it hits the altitude, it just seeds the world with them. You know, it blooms, it releases spores into the air, so. That's the, um, the new update, and that's the Destroyer series. And, um, have fun. I am so going to end up building a house on top of one of these things.